What's up guys? My name is Amel and well, I'm very excited because I'm gonna teach you how to program in assembly. Actually, MIPS assembly. So you should be excited too because and you know this is a very important skill if you want to work as a as an engineer or a programmer you actually have to understand how this works uh, so first of all I want to tell you that my sister and I my name is Amel my sister is Janilda so my, we have a website smartvinyl.com and we have a lot of useful information there actually we want to post a lot of useful information there so please take a look and also don't forget to subscribe so um, without any further ado, let's begin. So MIPS assembly language, what is it? Well, MIPS is just like, um, it's just assembly language, but it belongs to a special type of assembly language. It's just like RISC computers. So MIPS is like a RISC assembly language, uh, assembly language. So RISC is just reduced instruction set computer. So the designers of MIPS decided to simplify, simplify the language and simplify the architecture. So it allows programmers to be more uh, efficient, or actually to code more easily. And if you know, if you learn MIPS, you're gonna be ready to learn more complicated languages like x86, which is what most computers use. And also, uh, you can program many machines like uh, the PlayStation or PlayStation 2. They they use MIPS. Um, I'm not sure about modern versions like the PlayStation 4, but but yeah, there are many machines out there and many like routers and many computers that actually use the the MIPS chip. So you must know how to program in MIPS. So let's begin. And as you know, most computers are based on x86. So my computer is also based on x86. My computer is no exception. And because of that, um, we are gonna need a, a special program a simulator that's going to allow us to test our code. It's going to uh, assemble the code for us and it's going to execute the code. And that simulator, I'm going to teach you how to, or I'm going to show you how to get it. Go to, go open your browser. And when you open your browser, go to Google. And now we're going to type Mars assembly. Once you do that, you're going to see this right here, this website, Mars MIPS Simulator. Click on it. And here we have the website where we're going to get our simulator. And go to Download and click Download Mars. And as I told you, Mars is a simulator that's going to allow us to execute um, our code. Actually, it's like an IDE, so it's going to help us learn it as well because it's going to give us clue when we are writing code. And it's going to a guide us a kind of it's like an IDE integrated development environment if you have previous previous programming experience you know what I'm talking about but don't worry if you don't have previous programming experience because I'm gonna show you all this stuff so let me go where the where my file is after it's done downloading so open containing folder and I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna go to my desktop which is pretty messy <laughs> I know I apologize for that and right here it's right, right here it is this is Mars double click it and it's gonna open and once it opens you're gonna be ready to start programming and voila here it is this is what we need and this is my beloved Mars so here you're gonna learn how to program in, in assembly language and I'm going to show you what all this stuff is. I'm going to show you how to use it. And you're going to be uh, so so excited when I show you. So um, please um, come back and watch the next tutorial. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I know you're going to love this.